Hey guys, this is a projection map. A projection map is projected media from a projector. If you look over here, you'll see a projector. It's not the greatest projector. We have a pretty bad one. It's being held up right now by some playing cards, a box, and some books from class. And it's not even really sturdy if you really look at it, break it down. But it worked, what we did. Nate and I were looking online through the possible programs we could try to do this on. And the only ones we could find were DJing programs, specifically designed for live shows. We didn't have time to learn the new program, so I said, hey, why don't we just try this in After Effects? And it worked. How is this possible, you may ask? Well, check this out. After Effects, like most editing programs, has an option to set up multiple displays, so all I had to do was go into Preferences, select the projector, and the projector displayed what was in my timeline. That meant our composition only had to be 800 by 600. And that made After Effects run so fast because it's such, it's, it's smaller, it's, it's a little bigger than standard definition, but because it's so small compared to HD 1920 by 1080, it makes it so much quicker for After Effects to run, which is why it helped out so much. Once we figured out After Effects, we built our three dimensional shapes. If you're going to be doing this, make sure you use a white material or white surface. We used a styrofoam board that we cut into three dimensional shapes. Make sure your projector is at an angle. Nate and I made a huge mistake in doing this. We didn't catch on until after we were already in the program and after everything was done. But we didn't raise our projector up high enough so we couldn't project on the top of all of our objects. We found out, however, that it's perfectly fine. We could deal with all the surfaces and it just made things easier because it was less masking out to do. So inside of After Effects, once all of our 3D shapes were made, I had to mask out each one of the sides of the shapes. All masking is done by looking at projection and moving it around by eye accordingly to how it looks on After Effects. I made a small diagram to help us coordinate each side, which helped out a lot. Once the masks were made, I pre-rendered each mask, so all we had to do was keyframe our scale, position, rotation, and opacity of all of our media that was pre-rendered inside our compositions. For the animations, most of them were used using trap code particular, and that's about it. Lucky for me, uh, my laptop's 14 gigs of RAM was able to RAM preview everything, so we didn't have to render out anything, thankfully. Thanks again for watching, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below, and please subscribe if you like these kind of videos. I make them all the time, and have a great day. See ya.